Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny Smith. Game one is upon us, and this looks like it will be a fantastic series. Tonight, it'll be the Phoenix Suns going up against the Houston Rockets at Toyota Center. Taking a look at the Rockets, they've made it look easy as they've progressed through this postseason. Just two losses thus far. We'll see if they can continue their impressive play. Here we go. Conference final. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Game one of the Western Conference Finals. The Phoenix Suns have shown an impressive array of abilities in round two, taking the series in only five games. Tonight, we will find out if they can keep that momentum going against the Houston Rockets. The Western Conference Finals, right here, right now. Two Western teams have run the gauntlet. Only one can emerge victorious to claim a spot in the finals. Game one of the Western Conference Finals begins in a moment. With Greg Anthony, Chris Webber, and David Aldridge, Kevin Harlan. And joining us tonight, a man who once said he will never ride another traditional sports column. Please don't say that. So Bill Simmons, don't well, say that. Well, now you just have to tweet. You need 280 characters, and you That's can right. pretend you're a writer. What do you think of social media? I actually think for basketball, it's been a huge advantage. And it hasn't been a huge advantage for a lot of other things, but I think it's made basketball a lot more fun. I do worry, though, sometimes that people are just watching their Twitter feed over the games. I still think there's an advantage for people who actually are watching what's going on versus watching people's reactions to what's going on. Interesting. It's the Phoenix Suns facing the Houston Rockets. You look at the Rockets. They were able to prevent going to seven in the last round. We'll see how they establish themselves tonight. And, and while I expect them to win this game and potentially win big, this is a team that really plays well on their home floor. And if they do that, they can really set the tone for this series. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. Setting the floor for the Suns. On the perimeter, it's Booker and Jackson. Aiton is out there with Warren, and it's A.I. in at the one. Harden can't hit. Bill in Houston, if there's one critique of James Harden's game, it's been his defense. But do you think that's changing a bit? We're seeing some evolving in his game. Definitely changing. First of all, he's playing defense now, which has been, been a revelation. Jeff Bezdelic, I think, has really got his fingerprints on. Yeah, good name drop, too, by the way. I like, I, I like that. Yeah, I, you know what changes your defense is being picked apart online and Twitter gifts and YouTube clips and people on studio shows on big, giant HD screens pointing out that you didn't try on this and that you're a matador. And I think that, that there's been a shaming element of his defense that's, that's actually point. been successful for him and I, I wish we would had that in the 80s for Dominique Wilkins and some of these other guys <laughs> maybe if we had shamed Dominique Wilkins maybe we would have played better defense Paul can't get it to go that's how you protect him stand your ground and make him ultimate AI can't hit does well to burrow his way into the post but loses his touch on the finish here's Anthony and a great assist by Paul as that one goes in 
six points for Carmelo Anthony. Bill the Rockets going into last season new ownership seems like the transition has been pretty smooth so far in Houston. Yeah except that they left a title on the table last last uh, last spring. They came really close. They had big leads in game six big lead in game seven and just could not close the door and that's been a recurring theme for for James Harden for Chris Paul who missed the last two missed games. Those games right. and I don't know if they're ever going to have a better chance than that because I'm talking about Chris Paul now he's in the 2005 draft I think this is 14th year and point guards as they get older you can still get the 28 to 30 minutes a game out of them but you're not getting like a top top three all NBA team type of performance and I just wonder if they missed their window. A nice shot by night. And guys this is what you like to see early on gaining a little confidence from range. Well I wouldn't say that's his shot but, but it's a shot he can make and that really opens things up for the offense. Bill it's interesting more than 50 colleges and universities now offer scholarships in esports. I did not know this and that number is probably only going to go up. Yeah it, it makes sense too. What what what's more popular esports or water polo. <laughs> no offense to the water no, polo no, players no. but come on. Come on. These let's, kids let's love it. They, they cannot get enough of these games. No. We should have every college should have these. Here's Gordon after the main shot from AI. Oh, just a picture perfect alley oop. You, you gotta love that. Now, a little surprise, Greg. He didn't go for the big slam, but it works just the same. Crawford outside. Back to AI. It's deflected, and he gets it back. Hard work on the boards. A lot of competition for that one, but he's got the lift to be the first one, too. Shot by Gordon, wide open. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Gordon has always been a lethal perimeter shooter. When he gets a clean look, he doesn't hesitate pulling the trigger. AI kicks to Chandler. Back to AI. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth, he is six for nine on the stat sheet. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Here's Knight. Nene, right side. Fires the three. Tyson Chandler pulls it in. And here's Chandler who brings it up for Phoenix. Oh! That is not possible. What we just, <laughs> is, is that possible? Uh, I think it is, Greg. Not probable, but like possible, like you said. <laughs> that instant replay brought to you by Under Armour Hover Havoc, giving us a chance to relive the unleashing of chaos that time. Yep, that one goes. Green's got his second best. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual legit. Here's AI. Misses, and he wants that one back. And a good game so far as we conclude the first quarter. Phoenix ahead. They lead by one. We'll be back shortly live from Houston, Texas. And now, in a different stage of his career, Carmel. Uh, we all had to accept whatever the. And that adjustment, you know, Greg, not without hiccups for a lot of star players. No doubt. It can be difficult to accept a diminished role, but if Melo is going to finally win a title, I think it'll have to be as more of a secondary player. Back here at the Western Conference Finals as we get things started once more. And taking a look at the Suns' performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? Getting high percentage looks, wearing down that defense on the inside. Right, and as the defense collapses, that opens up inside out. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Warren, the pass to AI. Kicks it out to Booker. Warren dishes to AI. Five on the clock. Another shot. Yes, indeed, it is good. He's now eight for 14. Defensively, this is what you know. He's coming off a hot game and looking to keep it rolling. Yeah, but here's the problem. They play team ball. So if you pay him too much attention, that just leaves other guys open and it's too difficult of an adjustment to make. And he 
He's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Wow, and the big man Capella has proven to be a reliable role player, a strong physical presence who takes smart shots and contributes well on D. Hey, Bill, thanks for coming by. Fantastic stuff as usual. We really appreciate your time. I uh, appreciate being on Go Celtics. <laughs> you can't root on these, Bill. I, I'm absolutely rooting. That's my team. <laughs> And Greg, a lot of great sports writers out there, also great commentators. And then there's Bill Simmons. He's kind of carved out his own category. Uh, you know, Bill once said he will never write a traditional sports column, and he stayed true to that. He writes from the viewpoint of the passionate sports fan and brings that to his commentary as well. That shot off the mark. Paul with the defensive effort. And two for one. That's what they'd like to get right now. Yeah, this could come down to the correct play call. But let's see what they do right here. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Eric Gordon, he's checked in for Houston. Rockets have shot two of three from the free throw line tonight. You know, uh, there's one aboard, but Harden is one. I, I think we can pretty much say for sure he'll never win again. That's six man of the year. It's hard to believe. There was ever a time this man wasn't the star. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Ball looking over the floor. Down low. And the dunk by Capella. Leaping off the ground with such ease. Capella is exceptional with timing. How to finish these alley-oops. Pass to Aiton. AI outside. fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Yeah, how about the body control on that one? Narrowly misses getting the deuce. Phoenix shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight, and he makes the first. So it's both teams making substitutions here. No good on the second free throw. Harden inside the three-point line, and we're through the first half of basketball here, and what's been... Thanks, David, and we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the We welcome you back to our presentation of Game 1. Really an incredible game from AI. Yeah, so far they haven't found an answer for him. A, a scoring machine here in that first half. Oh, well, he's a tricky cover. He does a good job of sensing the defense, making the right moves at the right time. On the court for the Suns, on the perimeter, it's Booker and Jackson. Aiton is out there with T.J. Warren, and it's AI in at the point guard position. Jackson against Anthony. Over Jackson. Anthony's shot is off. Suns leading by four. Here's AI. And the Suns tack on two more. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And stolen by AI. And AI throws it down. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant mm -hmm. offense. But, but, uh, fellas, that's just like it's supposed to work. Don't give the D a chance to set up. Let's take this chance now to show you the list of the postseason scoring leaders. You look at AI. Leading the league in points per game. Such a great play. He's made two of his three attempted tonight. That one is off. Houston making a switch. Green's checked in. He hits the second from the line. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Rockets trail by nine. Here's Paul. Five points in the game. Over in the corner, Green. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got his seventh assist here tonight. If you're playing like Chris Paul, you better have your hands ready. Uh, if you're open, he'll find you, or you're going to get hit in the head. AI, no good. That's what we're talking about in terms of the activity level defensively. you got to protect the rim. Well, that takes physical ability, good timing, those two things that he possessed. Count that one. AI's got nine points now in the quarter. Everything going the plan here to start the third. 80% shooting thus far. And the lead 
now double digits on that bucket. And now it's a 10 point Suns lead. And he can smell blood in the water. Excellent finish. Oh, you're yeah, up by double digits. They're trying to keep the momentum, keep the foot on the neck. That's his focus right now. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. Yeah, he, he's got to make some adjustments here. Just too easy to score in the lane against them right now. Well, well I think the first thing they need to talk about is the rotation. There's a lot of miscommunication out there. Houston making some changes. Nene, he's checked in for Capella. And this comes in for P.J. Tucker. And Knight subbed in for Chris Paul. And there's the pass tonight. Nene outside. Six to shoot. Dishes at Duenas. Puts it up. And with that, the Phoenix lead is cut down to eight on the bucket from Brandon Knight. Look, I don't know how he got that one. About as tough of a shot as you can think of. And AI gets it to go on the assist by Ariza. And that's now 35 points for AI. Harden kicks to Ennis. Ariza brings the double. And there's the foul. It'll go on AI. That's foul number two for him. Gordon's checked in for James Harden. Rashawn Holmes is checked in for the Suns. There's Gordon with the three. Trains the three-pointer. Gordon's got eight. Sometimes there's no defense for Gordon. His focus, razor sharp. He's outstanding to maintain his concentration. Banked in off the glass. And it's 37 points for AI. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. And Knight slams it in. Sometimes when you want something done, you got to do it yourself. That dunks the shot in the arm they need to really cut into that lead. Well, Greg, it's certainly got everybody on their bench up and off their seats and cheering. Yeah, Kevin, a few more possessions like that, this game will have a much different look. It's good. Green's got five points now this quarter. Good movement there. And the lead pass is right where it needs to be. Milton passes to AI. Great pass to set up the lay-in. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. Rockets trail by nine. Green kicks to Ennis. Passes it to Gordon. 11 feet away, Tyson Chandler grabs the board. Chandler's got four rebounds in this game. Melton passes to AI. Ariza outside. But they get it back. Pass to Holmes. Now, here's AI. He's guarded by Knight. And again, the basket is good from AI. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. Knocked loose. And now the Suns, a fast break. Here's Chandler. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It goes on Brandon Knight. Yeah, and Chandler, a difference maker defensively. The shot blocking, the controlling of the lane. He also gobbles up those rebounds. Anthony up on top. From 15 feet away, here's Gordon. Misses there. And so it's Phoenix enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? How about the unselfishness? Night in and night out, we see guys trying to force their own agenda. Not that time. Welcome back. Fourth quarter action starting up in what has been a one-sided show. Paul and Gordon are the backcourt pair. Mello and Tucker are the forwards. And it's Capella in at the center. That's the five for Houston right now. Anthony against Crawford. Near the three-point line, it's Gordon. 
The next, the jumper drops. The crafty at handling the rock. I mean, you better give Corden credit and don't give him the opportunity to get creative with it. He does not disappoint. To the inside, kicks it out to Crawford. Inside, here's AI, and it's Phoenix scoring again. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. And it's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for the Rockets. They trail by 14. Pass to Tucker. Capella bounce pass. Here's Anthony. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Crawford, no luck. Houston's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight, nailed five of them. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Suns. James Harden. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. On the wing, Booker. He dishes it to Jackson. And that's going to be a travel. And the Rockets making a change here. Tucker's checked in. Rockets trail by 13. Over in the corner, Paul. And Jackson with the block. And Jackson is an impressive defender using his huge wingspan to turn away shots. The three from Harden. Houston working now with the new shot clock. And there's the call on DeAndre. That's foul number two for him. Anthony's checked in for Green. Booker against Harden. Five on the clock. Up and in on the way. He's not just an outside player. Harden's a player who can score from anywhere. Suns leading by 11. AI outside. Booker outside. Back to AI. Here's Hayton. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. A towering presence on the offensive glass. Aiden uses his height well to keep possessions alive. Harden against Booker for three. And James Harden hits from deep. Harden's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for the Rockets. And defensively, you have got to extend to their shooters. They have been on fire this half. Yeah, they've been tremendous from beyond the arc. It's a shift from what they did in the first two quarters. Pulls up. Got a piece of it, but he recovers it. 106 left in the fourth. Paul with the three. That shot missing. The Suns go the other way with it. They've led by as many as 14 points. Man, if ever there were a way to kick off the NBA Conference Finals, this is it. Going to be a table-setting victory here in game one for the Suns. This is a game where defense, you know, steals specifically, generating a lot of opportunities. And it created possessions for them, scoring opportunities, and that effort, a big part of what will be a nice victory here tonight. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for AI. You can do a lot to change a game other than scoring, and it was his quick hands on the defensive end that put them in the driver's seat. To the middle. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Two shots. First one falls for him. Houston with a big group substitution here. Nene, he's checked in for Clint Capella. James Ennis comes in for P.J. Tuck. Green, he's checked in for James Harden. And Knight subbed in for Chris Paul. Now a timeout called by Houston. They're trailing by 14. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth. And now we present our Jordan player of the game. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. What a way to start the series. If this game is any indication, he's going to be an unstoppable force the next few games.
So it's the Suns winning easily here. A pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. That concludes this broadcast of the Western Conference Finals. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the... bugs after that. Thank you. Hi, this is Shaq. Your performance tonight? Oh, heavenly. One of the best I've seen in a long time. What allowed you to dominate with your scoring the way you did? Oh, man, you know, I just try to stay active and engaged. Um, flash to open shots, you know, be aggressive out there on the floor. Uh, my teammates did a great job, you know, setting me up to succeed, and they opened up lanes and opportunities, and tonight I was able to capitalize. That's why they call you the big capitalization. I great game, AI. They call me that? Okay. <laughs> Thanks, man. See you.